Hi, it's me again. I'm Nefid. In this video, I will show you how to upgrade the image on the standalone mobility controller. Now, uh, there are multiple different ways we can do that. We can do it using FTP, TFTP, SFTP, S, uh, copy, and so on. But in here, I would like to show you using TFTP. Um, the approach for this, we will uh, look into command line interface. Uh, using the console port, assuming that you have console access. Otherwise, you can connect to the controller using the GUI interface or user interface, and you can use FTP or TFTP to upgrade your image. Let's have a look. First of all, you need to download the software, which is the firmware basically. Now, I'm logged in with a non partner account. You can see that's the name. But this name is not uh, a partner account basically, so it's a public or user account as they call it. Now, if you try to download um, a firmware, uh, let's say software, and I would like uh, part of the product, I'd like to go for the uh, gateway if you like. So, Robo SC8. Of the FIPS one, we uh, can search for non FIPS one, so we can search for 70XX. And there we go, that's version 8, uh, version 12, 8.10, uh, 8.12, 8 um, and so on. So uh, we want non FIPS because that's what we're installing. Let's say we'd like to download this. So now I'm logged in as a non-partner account, but I'm able to download software uh, for that controller. So that's step number one, you download the software. Now that's the mobility controller, so we log into that mobility controller. Now what we need is, uh, we'll double check the version. So we can just say issue the command show version, that's one option. And that will tell us what is the running version right now. Now, uh, these controllers come with two partitions, partition 0 and partition 1. To see the content of each one of them, we will issue the command show image version. That will tell us what versions are running in each partition. Partition 0, that runs this image 10.3, and partition 1 runs the image 10.12, 8.12. I'll show you now on the command line, we will use TFTP server to download the image to the partition, to the system partition, and then any upgrade of any image needs to uh, a reboot. If you bring it up, you decide what is the IP address, any workstation, this is a workstation. So that's the IP address of my workstation where the image is located. Now, where is the image? It's located in this folder. And you can browse it if you like to change, or you can show the IR. That's where uh, the all images and all other files are located. Say again, we're going to copy to partition one. So we saw the copy command, copy. So what are the options here? Copy from TFTP, and you have to supply the IP address of TFTP. And then if you like to see the options, the file name we just copied. So that's the file name. And you're going to decide where to take this one. If you type flash, that will take to the flash, just a list of the file. Or you need to take it to system. And then in system, you need to define the partition. We said we need to copy this one to partition number one. And as it is being copied, the TFTP server should show activity. So we're going to wait to copy uh, and then we'll verify after which we need to reboot uh, to take effect. So the software has been copied and says the system will boot uh, from partition 1 during the next reboot. So when you show the reboot command, reload command, it will boot from the new image and we can see uh, show image version. Now the new image has been changed from the older one to 8.10 in this case. The older one, I know it was a higher one, but uh, the concept here to show you how to do this process. So we can on this standalone also connect to the GUI interface 
of that stand alone. So we can go to maintenance. So we have multiple uh, few things that we can do configuration management, access point management, and so on. We will go to software management. And uh, we are able to use multiple things, but we're going to go for TFTP, which is the one that we are using. And we can see the new image here 8.10. Um, and we can say the IP address of TFTP. That's our IP address and the name of the image as we know it. That's the image I would like to copy. And you define which partition. You can might go to partition 1 or partition 0. And you might want to reboot after upgrade or you can just leave it as is and we're going to go upgrade. And you can see if things working, you can see activity inside the TFTP. Once that's the case, we are able to just reboot or we need to reboot for the new image to be uh, effective.